such a wonderful God. I just want to say thank y'all for the ones that came to the Gulf Coast Fellowship. I'm so glad that you made it out to the Gulf Coast Fellowship. And uh, we had a nice turnout on yesterday. And I thank God Mount was supporting the fellowship strongly. As a matter of fact, I want to tell Mount, thank y'all. Come Friday night, I was tired, so they asked the Lord. But anyway, but thank y'all for coming out. Even though we didn't have service this week at our own church, y'all threw y'all way behind the Gulf Coast Fellowship. And I want to say thank you for being so kind to throw your weight behind the Gulf Coast Fellowship. Thank y'all, the ones that came out support Mama J uh, and me when we uh, done a seminar, the ones that came out. And we appreciate Thank God for the ones that came out and supported the Millertons when they done their seminars on Saturday. If you didn't make it this time, you missed the blessing from the Lord. Bishop preached that word of God, and he taught that word of God during the day classes. And if you missed it, you missed the tree. Amen. So we just thank God for the ones that made it out. Try to make preparations if you can for the next one so that you can come out and visit us. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to sing this song out of the It's called When the Battle is Over, We Shall Well Cry. When the battle's over, we shall well crown. We shall well crown. We shall well crown. When the battle's over, we shall well crown. In the new Jerusalem. Have you met someone that thought it was all about them? 
They, they thought it was all about them. Have you ever met someone like that? The reason why God bless you with the children is because of you. The reason why God bless you with the wife is because of you. The reason why God bless you with the husband is because of you. The reason why you got the nice job because you're so intelligent and you're so arrogant. They couldn't pass you by. Your talents and your skills supersedes everybody else. They better choose you on the team to play basketball football. But that's not how it really works. Because my Bible tells me, before I take ownership, God just took ownership. It ain't your mama. Thank God for your mama. Thank God for your dad. But he said, before I, before I took the initiative to even form you in the womb, I had a purpose for your life. See, if people wonder why we're so adamant about, uh, about birth control, because you're trying to play God. Whenever you decide to stop the seed from coming forth, you're now stepped into the place of God. Because God takes on you. He said, I'm the one that formed the baby in the womb. Not you. You ain't had one child because you wanted to. Stop lying, the devil is alive. You ain't had one child because you wanted to. God put the child out. Please read. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. I love that. He said, I sanctified you. Wait a minute. I heard people say it like this. Before you was a twinkle in your mom's and dad's eye. And I already remember that. Before they ever came together, before they ever came together in copulation, in, in, in a marriage relationship, he had all the people playing. He had it all mapped out. Before they ever came together, and in the course, he already had it mapped out. Genesis chapter 32, verse number 10. Let's turn that real quick. Why are we here? See, we're here for a reason. Me and Devin was coming to, we was getting ready to go to the council yesterday, and there was a man walking right out of the streets. Like, please hit me. I ain't got nothing else better to do. Please run over me with this man. Daylight, broad daylight. He walked right out of the street. I didn't know these cars gonna stop for me. And guess what I done? I showed stop. Yes, Lord. But see, as I have stopped, there's some fools out there that won't stop. There's some people out there that see you in the street and they still ain't gonna stop for you. They will run flat over you. Since you don't respect your life enough to walk right there like you're crazy, they'll run over you just like you're crazy. And then claim that they will see you. <laughs> you gotta love this life and appreciate this life. Every breath you take is a gift from God. I'm gonna do this, Pastor. Let's go to Genesis 32, verse 10. Genesis chapter 32, verse 10 said, Oh my goodness, just all verse number. See, Jacob was getting ready to meet Esau. He had done some dirt to him. See, he had done dirt to Esau, and now it's time for him to reap almost reap what he sowed. But God is with him anyway. Even though he done dirt, it's the mercy of God and the grace of God that keep us from getting that which we really deserve. The judgment that we really deserve. See what's going to happen. And Jacob, verse 9, and Jacob said, O oh God, of my father Abraham, and the God of my father Isaac, and the Lord which, which said unto me, Return unto thy country, and to thy kindred, and I will what? I will deal well with thee. Now listen to what, what he's going to say, what Jacob is going to say. Remember, God told Abraham to leave his kid folks. God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, get from among your people, but now God is telling Jacob, it's time to go and visit your people, it's time to go back around your people, folks. Listen to what the man of God is going to say. I am not worthy of the least of all thy mercies. I wish that people of God would suffer enough sometimes to understand that you really ain't worthy. Who in here is worth of the breath that God gave you? Raise your hands. Because I sure was. I 
I'll show that. My mama had at least two steel for them. Who would say I was any better than them? I'm not going to say I am. See what we take it for granted. I'm the captain of my own ship. I'm the lord of my own vessel. That's why people go out there and do anything they're big enough to do and bad enough to do because they don't understand their purpose. I am not worthy of the least of all thy mercies and of all thy truth, which thou hast shown unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I become two men. God can deal with somebody like that. And at the end of that story, you go back and read that chapter. God is going to cover him. See, when he came to God, he didn't come to God with his pride and arrogance. He came to God knowing who God was and the favor and the truth that God had given him, and he appreciated it. My Lord, the truth that you walk in, what makes you any better than the average Joe Paul street car? It's because of God's mercy. It's because of God's grace. He didn't have to show you what he showed you in his word. And when he showed you stuff in his word, it's a blessing to have. Amen. Amen. That's the folk out there saying they can still drink and smoke and party and sleep around and all this kind of stuff and still make it to hell. I'm saved, I'm saved. I'm, you didn't lie to me and say Day and age, where the preachers is, they'll preach everything else. 